Mr. Aaron Thompson, who heads up the foundation. Good evening, y'all. Has it been a uh, soulful and funky good time tonight or what? Yeah. I've been sitting down trying to uh, hold on to my seat so I don't embarrass my wife over there, but um, y'all been making a tough couple for you. So I want to get across a few points to you tonight and I want to be very efficient with, with your time, so I'm going to try to stick to my uh, roadmap a little bit here. Uh, Good evening, really good to be here with you tonight uh, in honoring legacies of artistic excellence and creativity and also honoring community building and community leadership. And those are things that are both dear to, to my own heart. For that reason, it feels fantastic. It feels like this is the perfect stage to be doing the, um, the world premiere and the unveiling of United Youth Music and Arts, which is a nonprofit organization spearheaded by none other than our own Curtis Kendrick. And currently being implemented and supported by a small but mighty board of directors, um, and a board of directors of which I have the joyful responsibility of serving on as president. So I wanted to take a moment to speak briefly about Curtis, um, executive director of UYMA. In one of the early conversations that he and I had as I was just getting to know him better, I remember being alarmed because he was telling me about all these kids he has. <clears throat> so he was <laughs> telling me very matter-of-factly, you know, yeah, so I got this kid, and, and, and that's my kid over there, and, and, and I have another kid, and this lives over here. And I was just sitting there trying to keep count like on my fingers while he was telling me all of this. And you know, thankfully, it became quickly apparent that that's the way that Curtis views the relationship he has with this um, significant network of young people who he's personally mentoring, educating, um, pouring into and building up in different ways, he takes them under his wing and he feels that, he feels, feels that bond with them. Um, so while they're not his biological children, you know, he's completely embraced the idea of it takes a village and that sort of mentality um, manifests in how he moves through the world. So he's a remarkable spirit and this is, of course, against the backdrop of his world-class musicianship that we're all aware of. And so drawing on his life experience, drawing on his connections and relationships, and most certainly drawing on his unwavering belief in the potential of the young people, Rochester's young people, Curtis has been out there doing the work for 25 years plus, and the man is a visionary when it comes to what our young people can do when given the proper support by the community. So what United Youth seeks to do is to amplify not only Curtis's energy and expertise, but also to, to leverage the input of a broad array of very talented community-oriented artists, teachers, and mentors. So we're establishing a framework to bring that all together now. Because of the relationships that Curtis has cultivated and the other board members have among musicians and artists, and we're talking from local to internationally renowned. United Youth has an incredible opportunity at this point in time to immerse our young people here in a very, very rich program where the draw is simply their natural uh, desire to create and their, part, their desire to be a part of a caring, collaborative um, community that recognizes and celebrates diversity. So we're preparing to offer activities at UIMA that include drumline, which is something that is a particular passion of Curtis's and uh, multiple of other board members of ours. Studio recording, including audio-visual recording and editing techniques, health and fitness, uh, and eventually a youth jazz orchestra. And then the critical element is woven into all of this will be the transference of life skills. So principles such as inclusiveness, um, focused creativity, consistent practice, teamwork and accountability, constructive conflict resolution, empathic listening, all these elements are gonna be infused into the programming and implicit in what we do. 
A little earlier, I mentioned the DYMA Small But Mighty Board. Initially, I was going to run through all of our particular roles. I'm going to cut that down a little bit and simply name who my co-conspirators are on the board. And I'd like you each to, to stand so that others in attendance can see who you are. Because I encourage you all to, before you leave, strike up a conversation, introduce yourself, learn a little bit more about what UIMA is up to. Um, we'd love to have that conversation with you. So I'd like to ask uh, Roberta Buckle, would you please stand? Thank you. <laughs> Michael Holmes. Christopher Johnson. <laughs> Patricia Marks, do I see you back there? Yep. <laughs> Michelle Smith, been running around all night making it happen for us. Appreciate you, Michelle. Bruce Volbita, back here in the corner. And our newest board member, Ellen Warren, is not able to be present tonight. Um, and then and there's me. So, appreciate it. Yeah. And it's an honor to be a part of this group. So using house building as an analogy, um, the UYMA Foundation is laid. We're starting to establish the frame at this point. Those activities consist of coming to terms with the teachers and mentors who will be delivering the programming, finalizing the physical location for our operations, among other activities that are prerequisite to us actually hitting go. Um, fundraising in particular, and community support in general, are factors that are gonna, are gonna um, contribute toward figuring those things out. So if you're interested in getting involved at this ground floor level, helping us prepare for launch, your support would be really appreciated. You can find us online at uyma.org. You also have placards at your table that we distributed just before. There you go, Roberta's holding one up. They have a QR code on it that you can scan in with your phone and that'll take you directly to a page where you can donate to us. And if you go to our website, there's information about how you can contact us um, if you wanna learn more about what we're about and see about how you may be able to plug in in whatever capacity. So um, I appreciate you you're hearing me out tonight. And um, Mr. MC, do you want me to introduce our next act? Yeah. All right, so we have uh, we got a special treat for y'all. And this is an opportunity for you to see a little bit of what can come out of UA, UIMA once we get going. This young man is one of Curtis's proverbial kids and the actual child of board member Michelle Smith. Can y'all give it up for Joshua Smith? All right, y'all give it up for Joshua once more. Yeah, we gotta stay behind these kids. Encourage him. He's about to slap these skins for you. Mr. Magic. 